Damn it. He's not a he's not a love interest. I'm not feeling it. No. What's going on now? Steve on the other hand. Maybe Cat Lady is a love interest. We could we could definitely smash Cat Lady. Cat Lady is, is on our list. On our on our smash list. If that's a, still a thing. Is that still a thing? Cat Lady? Are we gonna go on a movie date with her or something? I probably should read this, but whatever. It doesn't matter. It's not important. We all know what we're gonna decide. We all know we're gonna get drunk at open mic night and make our decision then. Maybe Angie's gonna be there and we're gonna be able to stick with Angie as well. <laughs> anyway, I love this town. You know I do. So, I'm dedicating my last jokes to specific people here tonight. The first Shit. one's for Maureen. A guy walks into a bar and dozens of slabs of meat are hanging from the ceiling. So he asks a bartender, what's up with the hanging meat up there, man? So the bartender says, ah, oh, you're new here. Well, we like to play a game here. If you can jump up and slap a steak, the house will pay for your drinks all night. However, if you miss, you have to pay everyone else's bar tap. So, want to give it a go? Nah, says the man. <laughs> Those stakes are too high. <laughs> this one's for our own newcomer, Meredith Weiss. So, a woman's driving down the freeway, but all of a sudden, she hears a Ooh. local news bulletin warning drivers on the very freeway she's on. They're saying, please be advised of this very dangerous situation of a car going the wrong way. So the woman says to herself, one car? <laughs> Why, there's dozens. <laughs> oh. Well, folks, wasn't that special? Now, that special. let me know if any of you have any jokes about Jack, you hear? It's an open mic, after all. Yeah, I have a joke. It's actually time for a little break right now. Why did, so, why did Jack the for cross some of the our road? Finest concessions. We'll continue shortly. Mildred, yeah. how are you? Mildred. And how are the cats? Fine on both counts, oh, yeah. dear. Thank you this for is, asking. This is the moment. So, this is where they, do you where they like smooch. The hair? This is the smooching time. Oh yeah, Meredith, I love your hair. Looking fine as always. Thank you, oh, yeah. dear. Pity is quite the waste oh, yeah, of time Mildred. and money. Oh, and those eyes. How I can't stay for Mildred, long. you're, you're, you're so. Really? You're so What's cute, the rush? Mildred. You see, my son decided to drop by. Unannounced, oh. and he's staying the whole weekend. She doesn't have weekend. the crib to herself. Goddamn, Mildred. Oh, that's wonderful news. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, anyway, take care, dear. Bye. Now, where did he park the car? I don't know, yes, Mildred. Yes, it's me, Matt Kearney, in an egg brace. Real funny, huh? Oh, hi, Matt. What hey, happened? Matt. Well, I was about to send the final boss, the afterlife, but then the computer crashed. I Look, kicked my foot out in anger around. and fell from my chair, and now I'm here looking like a loser. Ah, oh. oh, poor you. I hope you'll be okay again soon. I hope so. I can't even use my computer right now. What? Dear people, no. none other than our own Kay Evans will perform next. She has been writing songs since she was a little girl, and... I cannot say how thrilled I am to host her first performance of hopefully many to come. I am so proud of you, honey. Please put your hands together for Kay, everyone. First, I was afraid. I was petrified. And on and on and on and on. I could drive on, not go left, go right. Suddenly these choices make me smile. What if I just enjoy the ride? Life's a game of chance for every break you get. You leave another one behind just as a love. As you keep trying, you will get there. 
That was a good one. Thank you. Choreographed by yours truly, Struzzi. This does not happen a lot, but you have left me speechless. That was K, people. Another round of applause. Good one, K. That was great. You should really be well, a stand-up comedian. Well, it's a good thing I didn't leave when Reynolds started his nonsense. This kid can sing. Yeah. Oh, hi, Mr. Mackey. What's up? Yeah, she's awesome. Yeah, it's good to see someone flourish. But I'd rather be home right now. I wanna go <laughs> home. I don't blame you. Smoking a pipe and reading a proper book I do is the only comedy. acceptable I've been way to spend Maggie a Han. Sunday evening in September. That I want to do comedy Words, and that she should take a stand up so class with me. But I know you'd rather be somewhere else right now. She just doesn't want to. That's okay, kid. I and don't that's fine, but bit. you did great. But ladies, if you'll excuse me, I'm out of here. Peace Good out, night, Mr. Mackey. And now for an announcement. I'm serious, so hush now. Now, She's pregnant. you all know that Kay has been working here at the diner for quite a while now. Oh, they're fact, naming it after she her. She was my anchor after Stan left us. And I think the time has come to formally announce right here that I will put your name above the door of this place, honey, where yep. it belongs. Kay's place, Mo Kay's. We haven't settled on a name yet, but Kamos. There you go. Another round of applause. Hey, Mark. Have some drinks with us. That was amazing. Oh my gosh! Thank you so much, Em. It's like a nightclub. It felt amazing. I was so super nervous, you know, like shaking and all that. I'm so glad it went well. It was pretty good. Kay's place, huh? Congratulations! That was quite a surprise. Yeah, I told you. Mo asked me like a gazillion times, right? Kind of felt right this time. We haven't hashed out any details, as you might have noticed. <laughs> but it feels good, you know? Yeah. How did it feel to be up there? Oh, it was so great to be performing again. It felt amazing. I'm all over the place right now. It was such a rush. I will definitely be doing that again. If they let me, of course. That's great. I am so proud of you, Kay. You really have made a great life here. Thanks, Em. I'd like to think so. Big day tomorrow, right? You know what you're going to do? Honestly? No. Well, wait. I'm not good at this stuff, so I just want to say it was good to have you back these past weeks, Em. Really good. You just do what you feel you have to do. I'm just glad we reconnected. All right. Promise he'll keep in touch, whatever the outcome, yeah? No. Why is there no option for no? We're I'll not staying best. in touch, Kay. Remember, time marches, marches on. on. <laughs> See ya, Kay. Whoa. Thanks. <laughs> for everything. Farewell, Kay. My lovely people! The time has come for the open mic part of the evening to end. Ashley was going to do a ventriloquist bit next. But Ashley. I just heard he hurt his hand back in his cabin. Let me thank you again for joining us. Is and Ashley the writer? food and drink to go around. Wow. Is that it? Is that the end? Maureen? I sure do hope they're keeping things proper in there while I'm taking a breather. So, you had fun? Yeah, I did. I loved it. Jack was great. Good, good. Honestly, when Jack started telling those jokes, oh, I didn't know whether to suck him one or laugh out loud, you know? Oh, that man is something, all right. And what about Kay, huh? She was amazing. She was amazing. You said it. Oh, that girl is so talented. Oh, I'd give my big toe to be able to do what she does behind a keyboard. Oh, sheesh. I will take that big toe and shove it right up my ass. I'm still thinking about your news about handing over the diner. Kay's place, huh? That was quite the bombshell. That's my style. I've mentioned it to Kay, yes, many times since Stan died. She probably thought I was joking half the time, honestly. I just want to give her the option. It's hers whenever she wants it. Speaking and if of she options. doesn't, that's fine too. Seems like a bold choice to announce it to the town like that, though. Ha! You know me, hon. At least all the options are out in the open now, right? So what's next for you? 
now that you're handing over the reins. Well, to be honest, I'll probably stick around the diner for now, help out, and maybe I'll try my hand at something different on the side, you know? Maybe fix up some of those cabins in the woods, rent them out. Never too old to find something new to do. That sounds like a great idea. Doesn't Boring. it just? How did things end up with Kay? You could tell me to mind my own, of course. It's just that that girl is like a daughter to me. We talked, yeah. More, Maureen. We really reconnected, and I'm happy we did. <laughs> Listen, you're, so nosy. you're two grown women, <sighs> and if that's the choice you two ended up on, I can only respect that. Speaking never of never met choices, Kay's husband. You've got a big day in the morning, don't you? Know what you're gonna do yet? Stick around, move back. What if I, Honestly, what if I don't even get the choice? No, no clue. What if I'm just being all. left in this suspense Sounds now? Like you're feeling a lot thinking of about what I'm gonna do. I guess I am. <sighs> you know what I've found? Screw clarity. You don't need clarity to make choices. That's a bit direct. I swear. People these days seem to think that because they can calculate and approximate, they can clear up the secret to existence. Like, life's a game you can win or lose. Pretending you know exactly where future you wants to end up, and plotting that out for the rest of your life? <sighs> I'd almost say that's arrogant. Not to mention boring. The beauty is in not knowing, if you ask me. All right, well, listen, Maureen, that's uncharacteristically deep. Marie, I don't know if you're like throwing best? me red herrings and stuff, Take but one first step. I really and don't want to make this decision. You can I don't know what I'm going to do. The one that I'm going to be after. honest. And whatever path you I don't know what the fuck is going on. Ups and downs. There will always be joy. And there will always be regret. But that's something question is, am I staying or am I going? That's what makes life am I moving in with yours, Angie? Yours, doesn't it? Thanks, yeah. Maureen. That makes sense. You'll be all right, huh? You just Thanks. keep checking what feels right. And if not, just take that first step, you hear? Shit. I gotta make that decision. Maureen? Yeah. Thanks. For everything. I best get back inside. You take care now, Meredith Wise. Take you too. care, Maureen. Shit. Fuck. It's decision day. I think it's time. Oh, it's Monday morning. I don't know what to do. They're going to put me on the spot. Good morning, Meredith. You won't believe the weekend I had. Saturday, I placed a bet on the Angels, just like you said, and won. But they played again yesterday, and I let it ride, and then they lost. They're playing again tonight, and now I don't know what to do anymore. Well, Frank, the pattern is obvious. Frank, you're... You're a gambling addict beyond salvation. You're... <laughs> uh, Meredith, I guess you're right. And I guess I don't mind. Speaking of gambling, you're crazy, I man. bet you're taking the job. And that's not just because you're wearing your coat. I love the coat, Frank. I love that coat too, actually. Um. Uh, oh, fuck. I think we gotta... Do we like the mail service life or do we not like the mail service life? I like the coat. Maybe if we just say yes that we want to wear the coat, that's only speaking of the coat. And yes, I want to wear it a bit longer. Fantastic. So you'll be delivering the mail today? I'll give HR a call and tell them the vacancy is filled. Eh, not so fast, Frank. It's under one condition. What did we just get ourselves into? <laughs> oh shit, do we want to do we want to do some insider trading with him or do we want to Oh shit. I think oh, fuck. I want in on the action. A fair share of your bookie profits. Profits? Meredith, it's nothing. Just a friendly service to the people here. Nah, bro. We know it's not. Don't bluff a bluffer, Frank. Okay, okay, Frank. Meredith. How about 20%? 40%. How about 50%? 50%? Meredith, setting up this operation cost me years of hard work. The best all I can nothing. do is 30%. Or else no. I'll just do it all by myself. No. Deal. Ka ching Welcome on board. Now, let's get to work. The mail doesn't deliver itself. Aw, oh, shit. We gotta do another mail delivery. Okay, let's uh -oh. see what today's weather will be like. 
P.O. people, good morning! Today's weather will be nothing short of gorgeous, and I can't wait to go outside and head out to the acres. But not before sharing, you know what? P.O. positive or pet peeves? Fucking God. I don't need callers for today's P.O. positive. I'm picking it myself. Oh, <laughs> shit. I'm talking about Moe's open mic last night. Uh, I hope y'all enjoyed it as much as I did. And I'm sorry if I offended anyone with my jokes. Well, no. Actually, I am not sorry. <laughs> not sorry at all. Thank you much, Mo and Kay, for hosting it. It's just one of the things that makes Providence Oaks the he's gonna best give us a place shout in out. the world. Have a great day. Oh, he's not. Ah, uh, <laughs> you tell him, Jack. What's this guy up to? Wait, is that Robert? Y yeah, yeah, Robert. I'll pull over. Shit. Are they gonna fall in love? Is this the moment? Hey, Meredith. Sorry about that. I hope it didn't scare you. Hey. Hey, Robert. What's going on? Well... This is going to sound super awkward, and hopeless, and desperate, and probably a lot more things, but... Is he proposing? I don't want you to leave. I've oh, decided shit. a while ago that I'm done with stuff like this, but I guess it's not something you can decide. Robert, that's so sweet of you, but I'm not going anywhere. Yeah, I figured you'd say that. I... Wait, what? You're not going? Yep. It's nice here. Oh, wow. Uh, okay, great. Well, I might as well blurt it all out. I like you. Oh, a lot. shit. I didn't want to give in to it. I've been through a rough break. Oh, of months, no. I didn't want to risk ever feeling like that again. Oh, no, 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 Robert. 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 But this is. We've already made the decision that we are not sticking with Robert. Robert, I can't just decide that right no, now. No, we can't and do I this. I have mail to deliver. <laughs> the mail can wait. Should have stuck Stick with it Angie. To the man. I mean, the man in general, not me. Just hop in my car. He's gonna murder us. He's gonna murder us. That's just so weird. Why does he want us to jump in his car? I can't do that, Robert. Not right now. You know what? I'll call you. Okay, Meredith. I understand. And yeah, calling sounds good. No, Robert. Have a great day. Thanks, Robert. Robert, we <coughs> want Angie. Shit. Sorry for button in, folks, but I've got a special treat for y'all. I just updated my playlist. This new song is from our very own K. Evans. That was good. That was a good one. I wonder if the next time we play this, we can make different decisions. Because, you know, it was, I think we've made some shit decisions and that's what life is like. At least we're not back with Steve and we're chilling at Lake Providence Oaks. And we've made, we've made some good decisions. We've made some bad decisions, but that's a life lesson for all of us right now. And I just want to thank you all that the good decision you've made today is like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all soon. Bye!